heard someone say, Men are from Mars and women are from Venus. It could seem logical to say we're different. For starters, we have different body parts. When it comes to our brains, we tend to believe they hail from different worlds too. Because of this, we think men are better drivers, women have better language skills, men are better at math, women are better at multitasking. These differences have been tested over and over again with men and women, but not with you, perhaps. This is a short test of your multitasking ability and you'll need some headphones, most importantly. You'll hear different things in your left and right ears. Ready? When I, I was at university, we used mice a lot for psychological experiments, and one week we had baby mice. Because They'd just be born, and they were adorable. They couldn't open their eyes yet, and, and didn't, didn't have any fur. They were all huddled together. I think I'm that week, I'd also just got a camera phone. Fancy. And it seemed like a great so idea to frame these adorable baby mice in a picture, but I was so wrong. My lecturer got so angry with me. How'd you go? Could you follow both stories and what was happening on screen? If you could, you probably have a greater ability to multitask. And whether you could or not, your sex has nothing to do with it. You have a brain that's difficult to be categorized as female or male. Our brains are so similar that if you put two on a table, if you cut them open, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a male, female, transgender or gender neutral person. Male brains have been shown to be slightly larger than female brains, but so have male skulls and torsos. And it doesn't mean guys have more brain power. With a larger volume comes more empty space inside. If you went and did some fancy neuroimaging, you may be able to see some small differences. Generally speaking, males and females differ in specific brain structures. Like, women have a larger corpus callosum, the bundle of fibers that connects the right and left hemispheres of your brain and facilitates their communication. But we can't infer anything about behavior from this. And as men's brains are slightly larger, it's thought that proportionally, larger brains have a smaller corpus callosum anyway. So it's a matter of size, not sex. And differences we do find in male and female brains could be the result of our environment and not our biology. When we remind people of gender stereotypes, it creates a stereotype threat, where they tend to perform in ways that reinforces it. Numerous studies have found that when female students are asked to report their gender before taking a math test, it decreases their performance. In one study, a group of female high school students performed 33% worse compared to the other group who reported their gender after the test. These gender-related attitudes towards things like math or science undermine girls' interest and performance in these areas. There's no difference in ability or brain function. One study that analyzed the results of 242 previous experiments found that males and females perform similarly in math tests. Sex differences are such a popular topic that since the year 2000, more than 30,000 papers have been published in scientific journals on them. We keep looking for differences because we kind of want it to be true. Instead of a battle of the sexes, it creates this weird tangle where we're trapping ourselves in gender identities we've constructed. Our brains are all individuals. No two women's brains are alike and neither are two men's. The view that men are from Mars and women are from Venus is literally out of this world. urinal, it took them 4.8 seconds to start to pee. For the next 20 guys, one actor was standing one urinal away and on average it took them 6.2 seconds to begin. 